Silicon carbide, also known as SIC, is a remarkable material that offers unique properties for a wide range of applications. Its structural properties make it stand out among other ceramics. With a high melting point of over 2,700 degrees Celsius and low thermal expansion, silicon carbide proves to be a stable ceramic material with exceptional strength. Due to its outstanding characteristics, silicon carbide finds extensive use in various industries, particularly under harsh conditions. Silicon carbide is commonly used in the aerospace and chemical industries, where its high strength and stability are essential for components subjected to extreme temperatures and mechanical stresses. However, despite its remarkable properties, manufacturing silicon carbide presents several challenges. The covalent bond between carbon and silicon makes it difficult to densify, requiring high energy and a complicated manufacturing process. These factors contribute to the higher processing costs associated with silicon carbide. Silicon carbide has a structural unit of a covalent bond which is a majorly coordinated tetrahedron. The four bonds which are engaged to the surrounding possess a pure covalent nature. Silicon carbide exhibits a polytypic crystal structure. Two major forms of silicon carbide are commonly encountered, alpha-silicon carbide and beta-silicon carbide. The table below shows the characteristics according to SIC polytypes. Alpha-silicon carbide forms at temperatures above 1700 degrees Celsius and possesses a hexagonal crystal structure, similar to wurtzite. This structure is often referred to as the 6H polytype. The crystal structure is the main difference between 4HSIC and 6HSIC. As mentioned earlier, 4HSIC has an ABCB stacking order, resulting in higher symmetry compared to the ABABAB stacking of 6HSIC. This symmetry difference affects the crystal growth process, resulting in variations in defect density and crystal quality. Beta-silicon carbide forms at temperatures below 1700 degrees Celsius and has a crystal structure similar to diamond, known as the zinc blend structure. This structure is often denoted as the 3C polytype. Traditionally, a method for producing SIC is a method in which carbon is put into silica or colloidal silica and subjected to high temperature treatment, and high temperature is used to promote particle growth. First, in order to manufacture SIC powder, a ball mill process is performed by mixing the powder required for SIC manufacture and additives. Through the ball mill process, the initial powder particles become smaller and various powders are stubbly dispersed. And wet milling rather than dry milling suppresses oxidation and reaction during the milling process and prevents the powder particles from coalescing. High temperature is usually required when sintering SIC. It is necessary to lower the sintering temperature and improve material properties through ceramic matrix composites. The ceramic matrix composites mainly enhances the strengthening mechanism and mechanical properties of SIC by adding particulate fibers or whiskers. The nanoscale particle size of the ceramic matrix affects the microstructure development such as carbon nanotubes, TIB2 and TIN are used. In addition, it is possible to shorten the sintering time and temperature by applying pressure such as hot pressing. Solid-state sintered silicon carbide requires a high sintering temperature, but liquid-state sintered silicon carbide is sintered at a lower temperature due to the liquid phase phenomenon of metal oxide. Although the temperature is controlled, the presence of secondary phases or amorphous silicate compounds may degrade SIC properties or reduce its densification. Liquid phase sintering of SIC results in a SiO2 thin film on the surface of SiO2, which inhibits adhesion and wetting and prevents ceramic deterioration in binary alloys. The figure below shows the shape of beta SIC, and it was confirmed by HR TEM that a 1.7 nanometer SiO2 thin film was formed on the surface, and the high volume fraction of liquid phase sintering affects the SIC properties, requiring an optimal liquid phase volume. In general, the ceramic matrix undergoes a dynamic internal chemical reaction at the sintering temperature, which affects SIC properties. As shown in the graph below, SIC with TIB2 added has reduced strength, but improved toughness, and it was confirmed that the properties changed due to the development of micro cracks in the composite material of SIC and TIB2. And it was confirmed that the addition of TiO2 together with Yttrium and aluminum oxides as a secondary phase limits unnecessary grain growth of SIC, 
and limits the movement of grain boundaries by micro cracks due to the difference in thermal expansion coefficients between TIC and SIC growth. In addition, when the composition of graphene increases, the thermal conductivity of SIC increases, but the mechanical properties decrease, and the addition of Mg, Cr2O3, Aln, etc., enhances the characteristics of SIC or affects the structure, and various examples have been shown in this review paper. The advantages of SIC's structure and properties have a wide range of applications in the automotive, aerospace and chemical industries. However, due to high sintering temperature and densification, it is difficult to produce and has a high production cost. In order to improve these disadvantages, research on densification of SIC and sintering temperature is actively underway, and research using liquid phase sintered SIC manufacturing and ceramic matrix composites changes the SIC structure and characteristics. In addition, in SIC manufacturing for carbon neutrality, development of in situ and sintering simulation technologies for energy consumption optimization and eco-friendly technology development using plasma are in progress.